Um, okay, awesome. Well, obviously it seems things are, are still going well for you guys. Uh, I think you're the last undefeated team of, on either of the men's or women's side uh, now. As from, from your perspective, you know, what's it been like just this year so far? And I'm sure, I'm sure people are pretty excited. Yeah, um, I think it's just great that we're playing. I mean, with everything that's going on this year with like COVID, I think it's just great to be playing right now. Um, it's been fun. Like we just look forward to going to practice every day. Um, it's the best part of our day. And then competing has been just fun too. You guys have obviously, it seems, been able to, to navigate this as, you know, as well as anybody. What's it been like just go, you've had a few of these series now to go through. I mean, what, how would you compare this season compared to what it's been like in the past? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of obstacles um, this season. Um, I mean, this is my first year as a blue gold. So, I mean, there isn't really much to compare in the past, but um, it's just been super fun this year so far. Um, and we're looking forward to getting to the tournament and playing Oshkosh and this next game this Friday. It seems like, you know, that it's an interesting part of this team is just that a lot of people have contributed. I mean, especially, yeah. offensively. you know, I'm sure that that's, it's fun to be on a team like that where there is that balance. Right. Yeah, we have multiple people, multiple weapons, multiple people that are threats out there. Um, and I think that's a huge part of what makes us a great team. Going through all this with a band, your, your first year here. <laughs> so I guess there's a lot, there's a lot to take in when it comes yeah. to you know, not only the normal stuff you'd be doing, but obviously all the, the COVID stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the transition has been great. Um, I mean, I just came here this semester, January, um, but all of the girls have been super accepting. Um, the coaches have been amazing, um, helping me through everything. Um, they put in the extra time to get me to uh, be ready for the first game a couple weeks ago. Um, so the transition has just been great, yeah. What's it been like for you to be back closer to home? I mean, not that you were that's also been before. super nice, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons um, why I just picked Eau Claire was to be closer to home. Um, it's, it's just fun to be playing back in this community again um, with all the support. And talking about those, the, these series, I mean, what have you kind of taken away from, from these first few? Okay, what, what kind of adjustments do you, do you see you guys making when you're looking to, you know, that Monday, first using Wednesday to Friday transition? Yeah. Um, <laughs> can you repeat the question? Yeah, I was just kind of wondering when, when you're dealing with these, you know, I know I've talked to Coach about, you know, enjoying this kind of quick turnaround where you get a chance to play a team again, kind of fix those little mistakes, maybe. Yeah. That one day between. As for, for you, what's it been like to, it's obviously a unique situation to be able yeah. to, like, I think it's, it's like come to our advantage. I mean, we get to play them the first time and then it's a quick transition to the next um, game, but we get to have a cleanup day and then get right back at it the next day. So I think it's, it's kind of been to our advantage this year, I think. When it comes to just your adjustment to the team, I guess it's obviously seemed like last night was maybe the, the best you've had so far. I mean, what's it been like just that process of, of fitting in here? I think the fit has been great. I mean, the style of play that we play here, the up tempo, up tempo um, push the ball, um, pressure on defense. I think that's the perfect fit for me, like me and the way that the girls play. Um, yeah, it's just been great. I'm sure it's it's interesting just finding that fit when, I mean, you, it seems like the practice, you got a lot of practice time. I'm sure that that helps a lot. But you yeah. don't get that non-conference to kind of find your way on the court, really. You're kind of jumping right in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a unique year. A lot of, uh, like a, lot of <laughs> a lot of just figuring out how things, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't feel weird that but we're already a pretty big chunk of the way through the season now. It's gotta be yeah, scary. it's crazy how how much time has flown by. I mean, playing twice a week just makes the weeks fly by. Can't believe that our season's almost to the end here. Awesome. Well, I think that's all the questions that I, that I had for you. I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much Thank for you. taking your time too.
Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. Coach good morning. Howard. Good. How are you? Good. Good. I'm starting to finally, we're starting to finally wind down on the high school stuff. So uh, yeah. a little bit easier than normal. Of course, I got state hockey now this weekend after last night, but uh, I didn't get, I was covering games, but another game. So I didn't get an enormous chance to kind of dig deep in, into last night, but it, and it seems like things are still going as well as they had been. I mean, it's another double digit win. Could you kind of talk me through, you know, what, what you saw from last night's game and just, it just seems like things are working for you guys. <laughs> the great thing about this team is even if, um, you know, our start wasn't as clean and as fundamental as I usually would like it to be, the great thing about this team is that when we make adjustments, they are tremendous at welcoming those adjustments and executing. And so we made some adjustments at halftime um, and we were in a little bit of foul trouble in the first half as well. And um, that, that seems to be sometimes where maybe uh, we get a little thrown off of um, our style and in the second half being uh, out of foul trouble, making some adjustments, uh, we got it rolling. And that's what's fun about this team is that when they start to feel it, um, it they, they can really put the points on the board quickly. Um, so what we're trying to do as a staff is just make sure we have great matchups defensively all the time, making sure that we stay out of foul trouble and putting our players in a position where they can get their transition game going. Um, Tyra alluded to a little bit. We feel like that's our strength that when we can run and get going and get our, our shooters open and get touches to Katie on the inside, that's when we're very good. So, um, you know, credit to all the teams in the league. I think the first time around, everybody kind of gets a feel for each other. And then you have that day to clean up and you come back and do some things differently. And um, that's come to play in the league. Um, those second games, sometimes, I mean, you see some big point changes. And so we're, we're definitely taking that to heart. And um, when you have to go on the road for the second game, that also changes things as well. I think you guys are the last undefeated on either the women's or men's side in the WIAC right now. Correct. I think I, that just says something not only about the talent, but just how you guys have been able to handle this setup. I, it's for, from your perspective, you know, what does that say about your group? Uh, and just the ability to kind of roll with the punches here. Uh, it, I mean, we've coached that. That that's a part of it's it, it's intentional, and in that um, we've talked to them about the daily schedule and the game schedule, and how to refuel and how to take care of themselves and how to organize with their school. Um, it's a whole different scheme when you're playing, you know, Wednesday, Friday, and you have that one day turnaround, and um, just learning how after you play one game, how to come back and to clean things up and to do better the second time around. And um, I've said it a couple of times, I enjoy it. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a quick turnaround for the coaching staff. So you're up all night watching tape and, um, you know, getting your team ready for that next day. But um, we have a really, really nice blend on our team of great veterans, um, some high impact transfers who have been able to really um, embrace what we're doing and great freshmen. Um, and that combination has worked for us. Um, and, and a lot of that credit goes to my seniors in the fact that um, I said it a lot, they were out on the floor last year in that last game. Um, they want to be out on the floor in that last game of the conference tournament this year and win it. And so that's a little bit of a mission for them as well. Um, so we've just continued to talk about that. We're going to pivot, adjust, turn, do whatever we have to find ways to win, um, and get into that conference tournament and hopefully be able to host the entire time. I think being in the conference tournament, being able to play at home when it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday scheme is going to be major. And so that's something that we've emphasized from the start. You talked about the transfers and Tyra, obviously, you know, among that, uh, could you talk to me a little bit about, her journey to, to getting here and what you kind of were interested in from her. Obviously, you know, getting someone local coming from you know, that level is probably pretty exciting. It is, and um, that's important to me as a coach. We have, a, we have players from all over, you know, from the cities and from the other side of the state. And, but 
obviously any time that we can have a, a local player do well in our program, it's great. It, it is important for our fans to be able to watch those local players. I obviously saw Tyra in high school um, and she, she alluded to it. She fits our style and there's no place but up for her in, in how this is going to work for her coming into our program. It's not easy to come in at the semester and to pick up uh, our, our, everything that we run. Um, it's a kind of a complicated system that we do and um, credit to Tyra and also credit to the rest of the players and helping her make that transition. But, you know, I look at where Maisie was last year when Maisie transferred from UMD and what she's doing this year for us. And a lot of times it takes a little time just to get used to things and your new teammates. And then you see how that player grows in the following year. This is really beneficial for Tyra because she's getting almost kind of a mini season here where she's getting used to the league and everything. And I, especially last night, I saw her really start to shoot the ball the way that she's capable of. She's a great rebounder. She's a big guard. She runs the floor extremely well. She's just a, a perfect fit for us on the floor, but she's also a perfect fit for us off the floor. She's just a, a great human being, a great teammate. She's just a true blue gold. And I, I say it often, I transferred in college. Um, I have a soft spot in my heart for those kids. Um, it's not easy. It's a tough decision. And when you come to that new team, your life is impacted by the coaches and the teammates and what they do to welcome you into a new program. And so I think we've had a great history of great transfers in our program. Um, and I think Tyra's the next one. I think Maisie is as well. I think those two have had major impact in what we're doing this year. Yeah, it's obviously, you know, always difficult to transfer uh, and learn all that. But yeah, it sounds like there are even more roadblocks, you know, coming in late for her. And also just, you, know, you don't get a non-conference really here to, right. to kind of ease in. I mean, did, not at all. Did, did you get the sense that, would you, would you have been there then for a decent amount of those practices before you guys started or did once you came in would that have been later than that um it was it was during winter so we started playing in february so she had about it was about two weeks okay um uh, two weeks of practice before we started to play okay um, so was that yeah, so not, not a lot of time not no. a lot of time and yeah. considering that the rest of the team you know we had those it was 50 practices before we played um, and again, that's a credit to Tyra and the fact that like she really picked up things quickly, but also I think our style is push and run and shoot the three and it's very wide open. And so some of that gives her a lot of flexibility to grow her game. And I'm excited to have the chance to coach her in the future as well, because I think we're going to make her a better player as well. Like right now, my biggest concern is that she does well in school, that she loves it here, that she loves her new teammates but I see her in the future as being a, a major player in our league as well. And I'm excited to have the opportunity to work with her. I think last week was the first time we started to see some postponements and cancellations of the WIAC. Uh, I was just wondering kind of your, your take on how things have gone so far. I mean, it's been overall, overall smooth. I think only one UWO player uh, postponement or cancellation. I think that our league has done a great job. I think, um, you know, and again, we're, we're getting into the third and the fourth weeks here. And, but um, I mean, we've been able to play the, all the women's basketball games. Um, I think that my observation of when we travel and we go to other institutions is that everybody's doing a great job. I think that our institution has done a great job. I think that we're keeping the players safe. Um, and I really have to, and, and again, anything can happen, but I really have to credit all of the student athletes at a lot of the schools and our league because they're doing the very best that they can. Um, and that's all that we can ask. And so just keeping that hope alive that we're going to be able to get to a conference tournament, that all the teams are going to be able to play um, and having someone win a championship at the end of this is significant. It really is. And for people that are around sports that play, that coach, um, that, that crowning achievement, especially this year, um, it'll be a big deal to win a conference tournament championship. And so we are, we're putting a lot of weight in that. Uh, all the teams will make the conference tournament this year. You've got to win three games in five days. It's going to be crazy. Um, and so I look at it and say, if there was ever a time that someone should feel great about a championship, it'll be this year. And I, I am very appreciative to the league that they were committed to playing a conference tournament. Um, and giving the student athletes that opportunity. Um, so 
again, day to day, we pivot, change, we do the best that we can, and we just hope for the, the next game that we're going to be able to play it. And we got more you know, good news from the WIAC this week and that you know, spring sports are happening. I'm, I'm guessing the winter sports are pretty excited that, you know, it's obviously a tight knit you know, community that they're going to get that opportunity that, like you guys have. We are, we are thrilled. And I have to tell you, I mean, I get to be up in McPhee now with all my colleagues and we're all packed in together. And so we're in one gym and then we're closing doors and then somebody else is coming in and I get to see all the spring sport athletes and all the spring coaches. And I'm super excited about their seasons um, and for their players to have the opportunity to play. And so if anything, we've always been close, but this has pulled us all closer together. And so as winter sports, when we get done and hopefully we have a, a, a championship and a, something that we can put up on our banner, then we're going to pass it off to the spring sports and we're going to be there to support them. They've been tremendous in helping us move up to McPhee and allowing us to be in that main gym. And there's times where there's people that are, you know, on the side gyms while we're closing doors and we've made it work because this is a really tight knit blue gold athletic organization. Um, and I'm excited that the spring sports are going to be able to keep it going in the right direction. And hopefully we're going to get back to normal soon. I think that's all the questions that I had. Uh, obviously there's nobody else here. So, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to do this again. And Absolutely. I appreciate you talking to Tyra too. Yeah. yeah. I, I, she's going to be a great one. And so I'd like her to have the opportunity to start doing these things too. So thank, thanks for taking the time with her. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm sure the last one other thing that I, I didn't mention was having the senior night stuff last night. I'm sure that was, that was nice. It, you know, it went great. And um, it was, it was hard to not have the parents there because that, obviously is a big part of what we do in our culture, but I think we did everything we could to include them. Um, and I think that the, the, the seniors felt very special about it. I know this, that if we can win a championship for those three seniors uh, at the end of all this, that um, it'll be a great senior year for them with all the challenges and the different things that we've gone through. They alluded to it last night. They're having a ton of fun and they love their teammates and that joy and passion to compete. You can see it in our team. Um, so it, it was a, a great night um, and I got a lot of great feedback and how we did that with Facebook, Facebook Live and everything too. So um, it's hard sometimes when you think about the impact that our fans and our parents and everything, what they do in Zorn Arena and how much you miss that. But then you start to think about that they're there, they're watching, um, they're supporting from a distance. And so, um, you know, when we do have them back in Zorn Arena, that'll be great. But for the time being right now, this has been a really great experience, I think, for everybody. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I, I apologize. We haven't really gotten a ton of – I've only been to the one game at the start just because it's tough those Fridays and Wednesdays with the prep stuff too. But yep. uh, I think it'll be – I think we'll be more active in the second half of the season here. Just because we know you guys are busy and I know it's crazy this year with how you're doing stuff too. So that's one of the things that we're fighting tomorrow night to, to go unbeaten, to get the one seed, have that established, play those crossover games against Oshkosh next week and be here. And I think that being at home during the conference tournament, obviously it puts more, <laughs> I think on our, our everybody that's going to be helping helping us for our games and things at home and the, in the gyms and things, but um, I think it'll be a great experience for UW Claire if we can host and if we can be at home and our fans can see the live stream and all of you can cover us as well. I think it's going to be something that everybody really needs right now. I, I think there's a lot of joy in that that people are enjoying watching this team play and that they're playing great basketball. Awesome. Awesome. Well. I, like I said, I think that's all, all the questions that I had. I, I appreciate you taking the time, as always. Anytime. And, uh, and I'm sure we'll be uh, I'm sure we'll be talking more soon. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Right. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, everybody Joe. have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.